The movie Marshall, which chronicles the early career of the late Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall, debuts in theaters on Friday. Uh, I recently had three Q and A's with uh, Chadwick Boseman and Reggie Hutland. Yesterday, we showed you the one from Howard University. This took place uh, at, during the NAACP convention in Baltimore. This is what they had to say. Let's get, let's get right to it. Chadwick, I talked to you in the panel theater when we uh, get on up, and I said, uh, are you going to take a break? playing historic black people. Uh, by that time, it was Jackie Robinson, James Brown. Um, what's next? You gonna play Prince? How did you know? <laughs> How did you know? No, definitely not Prince. Um, uh, what was so compelling about this real life superhero? I would say, you know, you said this earlier, if you were gonna put another face on Mount Rushmore, he is the person that, that makes the nation um, live up to its creed. Right. And so the script was so compelling, the script was a, a case that we didn't know, so therefore you could, you could go through this movie and not know the end of it. If it was Brown versus Board of Education, we would know the end. So um, I think it was a very interesting obstacle and, and, and test for me. Reggie, to that point, uh, how many people in, walked in here thinking this was going to be about Brown versus Board of Education? Round applause, just round applause. So we're going to speak to that because, again, that's the story we know. When Sidney Poitier played Thurgood Marshall uh, in the ABC movie, that was the focus of that particular film. Mm -hmm. uh, this totally different. Um, yeah, and that was the point. I mean, people go, you know, Thurgood Marshall, oh yeah, Brown versus Board of Education, I learned that in fifth grade, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Right? And then you catch it on Netflix. So we wanted to make a movie about something you didn't know about, but something that was very relevant. Because what I liked about this case was that the character played by Sterling Brown, as they say whenever they shoot a, a black man, well, he was no angel. Mm -hmm. Right? His record was not stir, wasn't, you know, but that doesn't mean he did it. Right. It just means that we can presume he did it. We can have prejudice about his guilt or innocence. And I feel like that's a struggle we're still facing today. So I felt this is a story that needed to be told that we can connect to right now. And would bring up the fact that, boy, we wish we had a Thurgood Marshall right now. Yeah. 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 Reggie, there's this wonderful scene in this film where we get to see Zora Neale Hurst team, get to see uh, Langston Hughes. Uh, and, and here is Thurgood, here's Thurgood Marshall smoking, he's drinking, they're in the club, having a good time. And obviously that's not necessarily a side we typically see. Why was that important to you to show? Mm -hmm. It's funny, because I have to fight for that scene. Because some people say, well, I don't get it, what's the point? It was a couple of things, first of all, a peek into the Harlem Renaissance is always worth five minutes to me. Yeah. Second of all, Thurgood Marshall and Langston Hughes went to college together. You, you know, so the fact is they all hung out. And the same way, you know, we hear about, oh, who was at the club? Oh, you know, Drake was there and, you know. And it's like, well, that's who was hanging out at the club back then. They were titans. And Thurgood is the man. And he's in, in Harlem, he's got his beautiful wife, he's got his amazing friends. He, he was leading a wonderful life. And, because we're not always just about suffering, that doesn't define our lives. Our lives are also about beautiful and elegance and excellence. And Thurgood had the courage to leave all that wonderfulness and go to hell. He went to places where people would kill him just for walking down the street to fight on our behalf. So I want everyone to really appreciate he's not just doing this because he has no choice. He does have a choice, and he chooses the hard road. Yeah. Chadwick, as you were, <laughs> as you are portraying Thurgood Marshall, you're also living in reality in terms of the cases and the, that are happening today. You see black men today serving 20, 30 years in prison for crimes they didn't commit. Speak about that as well, just the parallels between here's a period in time, 40s, 50s, and then all of a sudden here we are in 2017, literally telling the same stories. 
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's what he asked me to do. Yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. No, I know. No I know, 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 I know. No, it's great. Um, I think, I think the relevance of this movie is, in, in some ways, it's haunting. Uh, the fact that we haven't passed certain things in our society. And, you know, I think one of the things that, that Reggie did that was genius is you see uh, you see the Martin Trayvon Martin's parents <laughs> at, the, at the end at the end of the movie and say it again. What'd you say? Yes, 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 yes. Benjamin Crump. Um, it, I think what what that does is it it links um, the times together. You 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 see, and, and it's a testament to them that they were. Um, that they were willing to do it because it's so close to them. They still they're still dealing with the fact you don't get over your 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 child being lost, and you certainly don't get over it when they're lost in that manner. When the person is not even a police officer, actually, mm -hmm. it was the case that really really spearheaded the Black Lives Matter movement. You can see in that case what we're up against, how the world still sees us, and why we still, as we said earlier, need a Thurgood Marshall. Um, that you need that essence and that spirit to continue to fight. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't gonna cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin, weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.